mate of the divine eminence vessel. A young Lady woman Fen shifts her weight between her feet as though swaying her hips to an imaginary beat. She rubs her forehead, her face tight with concern. Her eyes roll up to meet yours, their great black pupils greater and blacker than seem natural, expanding further as they take you in. She smiles, and the worry melts from her face. Hey, it's you! Well, 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 we meet again. They told me you'd mosey your way down here eventually. She's the one I liked, I think. Um, we could take her on instead of Fane at some point if we wanted to do her quests, I think. Uh, your eyes, they're frightfully dark. She bats her eyelashes coquettishly and winks. Greyish veins flash around her eye sockets, casting a cadaverous pallor to her face. Mm, she might be more undead than the undead. Pretty hot, right? What was your name again? I'm Losa. She wipes a grubby hand on her tunic and holds it out for you to shake. Recoil from her black nailed hand and tell her your name from a safe distance. Uh, shake a hand, tell her your name and peer closely at her. Loza, don't you know that name from somewhere? Probably. I'm a musician, singer, lute player, jester, mystic, daughter, friend, lover, and now Godwoken. You're one too, right? So this is a case of if you want to, you need to take her now. Oh, okay, then I've, I've got my party made up and the other guys will do another playthrough at some point um, and do that. Because I want to play some different classes too. So uh, that would be more interesting. I don't think I'll do a custom character next time. I'll play as one of the main ones and do their story from their perspective. Um, okay, yes, yeah, well, yeah, she means she met one of the gods as well. Well, kind of. You know about my uh, situation, right? No. What do you mean? Right. Well, I'm a host. Always have been, probably always will be. I'm never alone in my head. Spirits visit, wanderers, sprites, demons... Ghouls, disembodied mystics. Wasn't wasn't the the mage at the start of Baldur's Gate three also in this situation? He had to keep devouring magical artifacts to keep. Uh, or did he? Have, he had some sort of condition. I'm just. I keep getting struck by some of the similarities between the two games. You're playing all six characters with a mod. Ooh, and more enemies. That'll be fun. That'll be massive combats then. You name it, I've chatted with it behind my own two eyes. I'm only hosting one right now though, and it's a real piece of work. Malady said I should have met one of the gods when I had my vision in the Hall of Echoes, but I didn't. I met it. That sounds very serious. Whatever is possessing her is powerful enough to invade the realm of the gods. I know. It's really... Uh, special. I don't know what this thing is, but I'm going to get it the hell out of my head and make it sorry it ever came knocking. What's your deal? I've spoken to one of the seven themselves. I intend to be their champion as best I can. I'm impressed, Chief. Sounds like no small feat. <laughs> she just takes it all in a stride. You know, I never was much of a solo artist. Want to find out what comes next, you know, together? Uh, sounds like a good idea to hey, me. Hey, wait a sec. It looks like till then. Right, okay. So we just got a story. That's fine. That's all I wanted. Uh, is this... Okay, can I go in there then? Who's this? Constance. Const the seeker flexes Constance. her arms stiffly. Her joints audibly pop. She sees you draw near. I owe you, Godwoken. <laughs> Without your help, I'd likely still be a prisoner around here. Not guarding Alexander the bloody divine himself. Sorry, I'm just trying to move my chair around to get it in the she right place. She nods her thanks and immediately winces, laying her hand on the back of her neck. Uh, open the gate. I want to find out if the prisoners know how to get this ship moving. Good luck getting anything out of either of them. Our special guest is out cold, and the other one ain't in much of a talking mood. Well, I have to try. All right then, just don't make me regret it. It's my business. It's my ship. Come on, come on. If we have to fight, we have to kill him, we have to kill him. on the red until the cage is locked again. You're piling in. A young magister paces around the brig, fussing over Alexander's unconscious form. She leans over and applies a damp cloth to his brow. Do we know her? Magister Ranley. She hey, notices you observing her, 
She straightens her back and sets her jaw in a defiant scowl. Magister Ranley, Corker's mate of the Divine Eminence Vessel, Lady Vengeance. That's all the information I'm giving to any of you lot. So stow your questions. Oh, an interrogation. Here we go. I am. I am the captain now. I should be wearing the pirate outfit that Beast has got. Right, I need to get this ship moving now, so you must know something. Magister Ranley, Corker's mate of the... Diplomatically raise your hands and say that she doesn't have to tell you anything yet. She just has to listen. Right, shut up and listen for a moment. Your life depends on it. The Magister falls silent, but stares at you with unwavering defiance. Strength persuasion. Declare that it's simple. Either she tells you what she knows now, or you'll have to start playing rough. Success. There's a shift in the Magister's expression. A flicker of doubt. Then? I'm a good Magister. Loyal. But Dallas. Something about her has changed. She's toying with dark magic, like a common sorcerer. She used to... to sing to the ship. It let her control it. Oh, we have to start singing now? She had this old book of hymns and incantations. It was only ever in her hands, or else locked away in her cabin at the stern. That's all I know. There you go, folks. If you ever need to know something in a, in a hurry, you? the old ha! tell us now or else you. works Magister every Ram, time. Mate. You see, now, if brute force the doesn't work, you simply weren't using enough. Get away from him, sorcerer. That's the divine. Strength persuasion. Point out that she's alone, unarmed, and there's a ship full of seekers who'd happily throw her overboard. She's in no position to be making demands. <laughs> I like the persuasion in this. All right. Don't harm him. I'll be watching. Okay, well, I'm going to go talk to him then. Bishop Alexander lies supine on a bare wire cot. Though unconscious, his eyes are only half closed. His swollen jaw hangs open at an odd angle. Get a good look at his face. Bruises swell beneath his eyes, and a shallow gash zigzags from his right ear down to his beardless cheek. Unconscious, he looks more boy than Bishop. Inspect his hands. Someone has wiped the bishop's hands clean and folded them neatly over his abdomen. They rise and fall in shallow, jagged swells. Look closely at his simple regalia. A beautiful six-sided gem rests on the bishop's chest, hung round his neck by an ordinary oiled rope. Yes, yeah, slip the gem from around his neck. Place it in your pocket. The gem sits heavily in your pouch. I'm having that. Even if it's got nothing to do with the quest, I am having that. Shut the door. I knew you would eventually. Um, Magister Ranley, Corker's mate. Too late for that now, Red. The bell can't be unrung. I'm looking for a straight... What the hell is that? Hope Face Ripper? I think that wants to be sent to... Um, to Bain. I should probably have a bag to put all the keys and stuff in. And the books for later. That would be a good idea if I sorted a bag out for that. Anyway, can you... There it is, there it is. An odd black gem found on the person of Alexander. Shiny and smooth as a mirror, you can see your reflection in it. Okay. We probably have to combine that with something, I'm going to guess. Anyway, bit old, a bit of brute force persuasion works every time. That's a bill. My, my. You were on that I can't be, I can't be bothered talking case, to her. We're not going to take wait. her. She wasn't very nice when I spoke to her before. I doubt if her um, manner has improved much since. Can I can I swipe that painting? Hang on. It's a big one. Way, I'm having that. Right, it's... Uh, is he over... He's massively overburdened. We need to send some stuff to other people. What's in the backpack? That's... Yeah, I need that armour. I, I absolutely need that. I can put... The gloves of teleportation in there. We'll keep them safe. And I suppose I could put the books in. I'm going to totally forget if I have books in there though, aren't I? They kind of want to be in their own separate thing. We've got crafting stuff in there. I could do with an extra bag. Fane. I mean, I'm probably going to have all these people with me, but I never know. Right, I'm going to put all the... Oh, God. Oh, I've got eyeballs and stuff in there. Nice. Hang on. Making a mess of that. 
could give the books to someone else. I mean, I'm, I'm assuming I'm going to keep these characters with me. I don't think they'll weigh very much, though. Was it that one? Stick that back down there. Did that make much difference? Did that make any difference? Yeah, it did, actually. A bit. Let's put the rest in, then. So what the hell am I carrying that is so heavy? Is that massive painting? 150. Okay, I don't think that's going with me. Unless I can drag it straight to... Uh, stick it back on the wall. Stick it on the floor. I'll <laughs> do. Unless I can drag it straight over to Exeter, Exeter or someone and sell it. Hmm. That's possible. The door seems like any door, at least at first. Then you notice it's unblemished wood. There is no knot, no scratch, no dent to detract from its apparent perfection. Reach for its knob. Who were misses? The wood groans and creaks. For a moment, you swear a face appears in the wood. A face tortured and tormented, a six-sided shape carved upon its forehead. Ah, we have a six-sided gem. The face vanishes. Hold the gem you took from Alexander out towards the door, or state the password fortitude. Try that. The word goes unheeded. You will need more than a password. Try that again. No entry allowed through the starboard stateroom door. Please use the port side door. Balls, I kind of wish I had done the uh, gem thing first. I just want to go and see what this does. I've spotted something. What? 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 Don't move. What? A loose plank. Oh, well spotted, sir. A smoke grenade. Send that to Beast. Try another character. I think I botched it and that's the, done the end of it. It's, that'd be a shame if that's the case. Oh, is this where we can change our stuff? Ah, excellent. Right. Yeah, I will do this. What's this do then? Multiplayer. Close. I want to change the appearance. I need to change. I want to change the hairstyle, actually, because that, that hair is... That's been bugging me from the moment I created the character. And maybe the face as well. Let's see. Oh, this is looking slightly better. My God, what a collection of faces. Oh, I could probably go with that. That looks quite knightly. Dorculus Dadam, thank you very much for the uh, for the resub. Yeah, I had I had a pretty good weekend, thanks. Actually, it was, it was parts of it were quite trying, but by the end on Sunday night, it was I felt great because I finally got my Outriders review and the guide out. It, I messed up the recording so many times with audio settings and then render settings and had to redo so much. But uh, yeah, it was good by the end of it. Cheers for the sub anyway. Actually, I'm thinking this is going even worse now. Look like some sort of old geezer. Oh, that's that was. That was slightly younger. All right, okay. No, right, wrong one. Uh, with skin colors, fine. Hairstyle. Actually, that looks sort of. Uh, sh um, I hate. I hate character designing in games. I suppose I should see what it looks like up there because that's the bit I'm going to see most of the time. I think we're back to the start there. Here we are, okay. I think I've gone for a bad face, actually. That's not bad. I'm going to go with that. Right, except... Okay, now we know what the mirror does anyway. That's... That's marginally better than what I looked like before, I think. Going to get any more Outriders streams? Uh, I might... If I'm playing it just, just casually for fun, I might do, or playing it with some viewers... Uh, or when there's a DLC, because I'm sure they'll make a DLC for it, then uh, I intend to uh, to play that. I'm still playing it now. I played it a little bit today with my daughter, actually. It's uh, it's a lot of good fun. I feel like I was lucky playing the Devastator in that, because it's easily my favourite character of all the ones I've tried out so far, although I haven't got the others up to uh, end game level yet. Let's see if uh, Beast can talk. He's wearing a pirate's hat, so... No entry allowed. Hold Please up the six-sided gem and tell the door, door to open. Listen up so I don't have to repeat myself again. I am not an entry door. Tell the door your password seems to have been changed. Ask to be reminded. 
Fine. Answer the security question. Oh God, what's um? I don't know what Beast is good at. Ask for the security question. Current security measures forbid me from providing the security question. Uh, let's. I think. Wits, maybe. Okay, tell it before you'll answer. You'll need it to give you the password. Does that work? The password is fortitude. Which I knew because I had that on the other, the other conversation option. Oh, you can change stats and skill. Oh, right. So you can move. Right. I didn't realize that. I didn't look any closer. Cheers. So you can completely redesign your character on that mirror. Stats and skills as well. That is curious. The face in the door is confused for a moment. Drat. Can we get through it then? No entry allowed through the... Okay. I, I guess the, the moral of that story is that we're not going through it. Even though we have, we have the password. We have the gem. Why did it not let me um, say so then? Does this take me up somewhere else? Or did I go down there? Because did I not find... Oh no, that takes me up to that hatch, doesn't it? The door seems like any door, at least at first. Knob. The door groans and creaks. Yep. The face vanishes. Um, hold the gem from Alexander out towards the door. Show we... No, I'm going to state the password fortitude first. The door remains closed. It seems you... Right, the okay. Hold the gem out. The anguished face appears once more. It dips its forehead towards you and... Wait. Hold the gem to the six-sided shape carved in the figure's forehead. A shudder of pleasure racks the figure in the door. It seems to breathe. All of a sudden, all anguish is gone. It gives you the sternest of looks. I am summoned. Speak the password. Fortitude. Yes, and yes again. The word is... Thank you very much. Okay, so we're in. Dallas's stateroom. Wow. This is a fancy looking room. You got an anomaly pyro debuff character that boosts everyone else's damage. That's, uh, that sounds quite fun. There's another build that does that as well. So if you have like the two builds in one party, I think is it... Technomancer? There's one in there that boosts the uh, firepower of everyone. That would be like a killer team. Bottles of wine, glasses, letters. A trap disarming kit. Just one more moment. Tarquin. I didn't see him there. Admittedly, I wasn't looking. Shackles of pain, mosquito swarm, infect. Nope, they're fine. Don't need any of those. Divine Protector, that is one seriously good shield. But we don't spend money on loot. We steal it. We find it. He clicks together two halves of some type of gauntlet sitting in his lap and turns his full attention to you. And there. Rescued at last, am I? To whom do I owe my thanks? Uh, what are you doing and what is that armor you're working on? Armor? such a limiting word but yes it serves that purpose amongst others Dallas has been keeping me prisoner here but I try to keep working on my own projects when I can the prisoners aren't usually held in the master cabin why were you here Dallas took a particular interest in me and my skills I'm an expert in healing crafting and uh, more arcane practices she kept me here to do her bidding until you took her flagship from right under her nose, it seems. It sounds like you were kept as a personal slave. Oh, yes. And she could be a most cruel mistress, I'm sad to report. He extends his arm and pushes up the sleeve. Beneath, the skin is withered and discolored, as if it were magically decayed. Nasty. She used some form of domination device on me, forcing my hands to do her bidding, and I've ruined them in the process. He's the toy boy? You have my sympathy, sir. Well, the situation is looking immeasurably better now. You'll hear no more complaints from me. So why don't you tell me all about my valiant rescuers? To whom do I owe my thanks? Well, I'm not sure about him. Could, could he be uh, someone in disguise? I don't know. Oh, I'm just an escapee and you're lucky to have made it this far. You undersell yourself. 
The roster of those who stood up to the Magisters and lived to tell the tale is a short one. I ought to continue what I'm doing here. Unless there was anything else? What exactly Dallas... I hate this because it's talking in the third person. But I'm supposed to ask him and therefore I feel I can read it out as if it's in the first person to ask him the conversation so that it flows for you guys watching. So, what exactly did Dallas have you do here? Oh, cast spells, tinker with relics, meddle with the laws of nature. All the sorts of things power-hungry despots love to do. She had me enchanted dead cat over there, so it would seem alive. Just looking at that skeletal cat, that's interesting. He clicks the gauntlet into place around his withered forearm, his eyes on you the whole time. Wait, does this gauntlet by any chance have, like, little slots for um, very powerful gemstones to go into? Is this Thanos? For that damn contraption that she used on me. Seems to have fogged my memory. The rest is a blur. Memory loss is very convenient. There must be more. Trust me. Convenient is the last word I'd use to describe the experience. Pass me that copper wire there, would you? Pass him the wire. He takes the copper with a nod of gratitude. His sleeve slips back above his elbow. In its crook, you see part of a tattoo. A pattern of concentric circles rendered in black. Perhaps my memory will come back with time. But for now, I'm afraid there's little more I can add. I don't believe you. I'm doing my utmost to be civil to you under rather trying circumstances. Why must you push me like this? Shrug and say that trusting strangers is a good way to wind up dead, in my view. Well, you're painting me into a corner here, friend. And I don't like to be cornered. I don't know about this guy. The Seekers are too trusting by half. We can't just let this healer go free. I'm not perfect myself. It isn't for me to judge this one. Let the creature live. He is hardly worth our time. I don't know. Don't think we should kill him. I don't like the options. It's either let him go or kill him. I'll go for the let him go ones. I offer my hand in friendship. He takes your hand in his gauntlet-clad fist and shakes it. There's a lot more power in his grip than his slender frame would suggest. Achievement, welcome Taco into the Seeker's service. <laughs> Have we just made a deal with the devil here? Have we just let someone in on the inside? Call me Tarquin and consider me at your service. I do think there's more to your story, and you can trust me if there's something you want to get off your chest. We're barely acquainted. Why should I tell you anything personal? Well, we're all in the same boat, so to speak. It'd be better if we all knew that you could rely upon each other. A fine sentiment. But I have nothing revelatory for you. I am as you see me. Okay. Uh, can you give me any insight into Dallas, then, following your time in captivity? I must admit, despite what she did to me, I can't help but admire her a little. The woman is unwavering. She will break before she bends. Where is she now, anyway? So if you should cross paths again, be sure to leave her broken. You will not get another chance. I've got to say, your reluctance to talk about yourself makes, makes me doubt your trustworthiness. There's likely not a soul aboard this ship without secrets they'd rather keep hidden. Why should I face more scrutiny than the rest? Barbarian. Growl that you trust your gut, and it's telling you that he's got secrets. Dangerous ones. It sounds as though the motions of the sea are upsetting your stomach, not me. Nice comeback. Okay. I'm not sure about that guy yet. Or at all. A dusty tome. I'm going to read that. Oh, but uh, you were asking about the Pyromancer. Not the Pyromancer, the uh, Outrider stream. I'll be uh, streaming, hopefully, the Subnautica game um, below zero later this month. Might be taking a break from Divinity Original Sin 2 to stream that. That's definitely on the list to play at some point. And uh, we're just going to see what comes out other than that. This book is written what appears to be an ancient dialect of the lizards. Its contents can be understood by few, but it might be possible to recite it phonetically. Zzzirk. Yerzik zzzirk. Yeah, okay. I don't think we'll go any further than that. An ancient empire songbook. Right, I need a lizard guy to sing that. What 
whatever it is. It appears to be written in Yeah, place. I thought it was going to be that. Well, identifying glass, we'll have that. And skulls, they're worth a lot of money. My memoirs by... I remember when I was a kid, we made water balloons from intestines. Nice. I'm having that. I'm having the trap disarming kit. I'm having the teleporter pyramids. Ooh. Is there another one of those? A pyramid. What on Revelon is this for? These pyramids are linked to each other. Open your inventory and use a teleporter mirror to teleport to its partner in a minute. Um a gold pile. Nice. I'm having that. What else is there here? Oh, the letter. We haven't yet picked up the letter. I better read that. Last picked up. This one? Draft from the desk of Dallas the Hammer. Uh, be warned, subsequent to the bloody atrocity committed at Bezan, shall all seekers be stripped of the titles and privileges once afforded to them as members of the Divine Order. Their mistake must not be repeated. Leave Meister in Driftwood. This is enough. Signs of resistance. Random Wolf Taco. Hey, how's it going? Wait, what's this over here? Medium healing potion. What's this? I found something. What? Where? What? I hate that. Oh, here. We've found... Right, a trapdoor or something. Uh, wow, that's worth a lot of money. Give me that. The glass is worth 250. Oh, hang on, hang on. I'm going to... Right, pick up the notes. We'll look at those. And Zake's Talon. Right, Zake's Talon. That's for making... Um... Do you not already have one, Fane? Fane already has one. It's it's for making po poison potions, isn't it? Uh, you can go over there. Uh, we're going to go and sell those. And what were the notes? Dense notes. A medical log. From the desk of Niles, house physician. Round one, normal stuff, purging applied to sorcerer. Result typical. Round two, normal stuff, purging applied to non-sorcerer. <laughs> result death. Round three, modified staff, purging applied to sorcerer. Typical, modified staff type B, purging applied to sorcerer. Result death. So these are medical notes, really. Need stronger relic, technological modification for failure. Right, okay. We're going to go down there in a minute. We're going to try that, that pyramid teleporter out. Are all these glasses worth 250 These are worth so much money. I'm having all of this. I Oh, wait, can we also clean this place out? Uh, read the book. Is this of any interest? Split into three columns. In the leftmost column, a series of words in an unfamiliar language. In the middle column, is common words. All right, so it's a, like uh, some sort of, I don't know, some sort of thick book. I love that. Thick book. Never forget, all citizens in the realm of an equal stake in this success. Okay, it's not uh, anything important then. I'll probably sell that. Ooh, fortify scroll. Yeah, we're going to loot this. That guy there is loaded with money, and we're going to go straight up to there and sell him all this stuff. This is going to be fortune. I'll chip a tooth. I'll cut a molar. I'll tell you. I, I can cut them up if you're the donor. What have we learned? Nothing? Okay. Maybe I need to pay attention to this one. Shape them sharp. Carve them spiky into an arrowhead that's oh so very likely to stun the foe to shock the rival. They'll be... Well, hang on. I think I should have learnt the pattern for a, a knockdown arrow, a shock arrow from that. So I think I've probably already got it. But I'll just take it anyway. Um, that's nothing. But the glasses, 250. I mean, I won't get that much, I'm sure. I'm sure. An ancient book. Page lined with formula and geometric drawings dotted with tiny sums and figures. An illegible book. Is that the different one? Nope, same one. Is that giving me anything? Yeah, Thunder Runes, excellent. There's a lot of stuff in here. Do 
do like a nice bit of looting. Oh, I missed that bit there. Flyer, Garrick, what's that taught me? Anything? Boots. Anything else? Okay, I think we're done there. Don't think I need to take the apples and pears. You want to go to bed? Let's go to bed. That does actually what throw me onto the bed. I found something. Wait, what? Oh, there's something over here as well. Is that a trap? I'm going to save the game here. A hat. Send that to Fane. What the hell was that I just opened? Oh, wait, hang on. Is it... Um, it's not that thing, is it? Ooh, interesting. Right, okay. I wonder what that was. Have I played... Oh, Resident, uh, Resident Evil Village? Do you know, I haven't. I haven't played any Resident Evil game at all. Um, it's not that I particularly avoid horror. Just, it's not my usual sort of thing. People say it's uh, pretty damn good, though. Right, does that stay down permanently now? It does indeed. Excellent. Let's, let's go piling through. Lock out. Wow. Okay, this, this looks... This is my sort of place. Let's loot this. A display case with plate gloves. We'll look at them in a bit. Ooh, nice. What have we got there? That's actually really good. That one-handed sword is nearly better than my two-handed sword. Loving all that. What's this? A picture of... I can't carry it. It's too heavy. Back, Marcus. Our shield has gone mad. Oh, did I throw it at them? Okay. It's Lucian, I think. If I pick that up, is that too heavy? No, I think we can manage that one. Yeah, we're fine with that one. Okay, great. That's, that's getting sold as well. Add that to the list. I don't know, Tiger Faust. I'm not up for the uh, naming of the Resident Evil games. I'm a little bit... Uh, there's been remakes and all sorts of things. So I'm a little bit behind the times with that one. Necklace of wine. Empty potion bottle. And painting of a battle. <laughs> I like the looting going on here. This, this is so much fun. I'm having that as well. I'm guessing this is an exit thing. So maybe we just can't go out... Ooh, is that nice? There's a button there as well. Serrated two-hander. Click the button. It just swings open. 